We continue the topic of data filtering in Grasshopper and in this tutorial we're going to focus on the dispatch and the sift pattern components. For this tutorial I have created a grid of points as a list. So in the Prime Viewer you can see that it says it's a single branched data tree and it has a hundred of items in it. And I also have uh, turned off the preview of these components and only used a point list preview so that we only see the indices of the points in this list. So this is our setup. Let's go to the component palette, sets, lists, and choose the dispatch component. The dispatch component allows us to divide the list, to split the list into two parts based on a Boolean true or false pattern. This component requires two inputs, so the list to be filtered or split, and then the pattern, so Boolean values. We're going to grab the output points from the construct point component and connect to the list input. So the component is already working with the default pattern, but let's define our own Boolean values. To do that, we're going to use the panel, so double click on canvas, use double slash, click enter, and then let's type in. Let's type in first true, click enter, then type in false, and this time do not click enter, but click somewhere on canvas. And let's connect this panel to the pattern input. We get an error, which says that data conversion failed from text to boolean. Let's see why this happened. Let's right click on the panel, and you can see that the multi-line data option is turned on. And uh, since this option is turned on, Grasshopper understands the text within the panel as a column of text rather than a list of values. So we have to uncheck this option. Notice that the panel has changed its formatting. We now see indices and we have true and false values taken as uh, items in a list. And we also see the path which is zero in this case. So these are the default settings, but if uh, for any reason you don't see these features on the panel, right click on it and over here you can turn these options on. Let's move on and let's compare the component that we have discussed in the previous tutorial, which is called pattern, to the dispatch. And for visual purposes here I'm also using dot display. So the code pattern component only has one output, which means that we are extracting items from the initial list that match true value. In my case, the Boolean pattern is true, false. Thus, I'm extracting every second item on the list, forming these columns of red dots on a grid. And we are creating a new list by doing that. So the main difference between these two components is that while cool pattern extracts, uh, takes a subset from the initial list, the dispatch component actually splits or divides the list into new lists. So we have items uh, extracted associated with both true and false values. I'm going to delete the cool pattern part and we're going to go investigate another component. So under sets, lists, let's pick sift pattern. Sift pattern is fairly similar to this patch component as well. It requires two inputs, so a list to filter. We're going to use construct point output here and the pattern. We're going to reuse already created Boolean pattern. If we hover over the P input uh, of the sift pattern component, you can see that the values defined here are numerical, so these are numbers 1 and 0, although our input is Boolean values of true and false. So in Grasshopper, Boolean values true and false can be automatically converted or read as numbers 1 and 0. So let's investigate the sift pattern outputs and compare them to the dispatch outputs. The main difference between the sift pattern and the dispatch components is that the sift pattern component filters data stream while maintaining its original data tree structure. We have the same 
number of items in the output list as if we have in the original one. This means that indices of the items that have not been sifted become empty in the output list. So we have these empty places in the data tree just to retain the structure of it. And the sift pattern component also has two outputs. Output 0 sifts uh, items from the initial list associated with the false value and uh, output 1 leaves items in the list associated with the true value. And again, the objective here is to keep the original data tree structure. We have compared the sift pattern component to the dispatch component and we saw that sift pattern works just fine with boolean pattern. However, the sift pattern component doesn't need a binary pattern to filter data. So it takes numbers, numerical pattern, and it means that it could have more than two values. Let's see how it works. Let's double click on the panel and I'm going to change these Boolean values into numbers 0, 1 and 2. The component worked. You can notice that in the Rhino viewport. But we get an orange warning. So let's hover over the message balloon and let's read what it says. It says that filter index 2 is too high and data will be discarded. So sift pattern is one of those components with the zoomable users interface. So if we zoom in on it enough, we can actually add additional output streams. And now the output streams matches the pattern that we have defined for the input. I'm going to connect the output streams to dot display components with the different colors for visual purposes. So in this instance here, the initial list is being sifted equally into three parts. But can you think of a way to change sift pattern input in order to sift the initial list disproportionately? I encourage you to try to do that and I will see you in the next tutorial.